And before we know it, tax time will be right around the corner. In this week's Tax Tip Tuesday, see what you need to do to be prepared if you are audited. Well, you know what time it is. It is time for Tax Tip Tuesday and our good friend of the show, Scott Curley with Finish Line Tax Solutions is joining us. And this week's topic, IRS audits, my friend. So what do you do if the IRS requests an audit? Okay, so when an IRS requests an audit, I, I highly recommend that unless you have a background in representing yourself before the Internal Revenue Service, that you reach out to a credible tax resolutions firm to assist you in that process. Uh, the reason for that is that there are so many codes and guidelines and rules and protocols and procedures that are, that are involved, and if you attempt to represent yourself, even if you feel that you haven't done anything wrong, you still may find yourself in a more precarious situation. So can we represent ourselves in an IRS audit? Uh, well, technically, yeah. Uh, a criminal on a murder, in a murder trial can represent himself as well. The question is how effective will you be? When someone attempts to represent themselves before the IRS, then the, the revenue officers that who are uh, overseeing the case, they operate under the assumption that you know the rules, the protocols, the procedures, the codes, and the guidelines just as well as they do. They're not there to teach you or educate you on how to represent yourself. They're there to collect tax do dollars by any means legally necessary. So will an IRS audit get me in even more trouble? Well, it can. Um, and I know I may sound like a broken record by saying this again, but uh, there are so many very complex codes and rules that are associated with this process. So unless you truly are comfortable and fully knowledgeable of these, it's always so much better to get a, an expert in this area so that you can be represented appropriately and treated fairly. Um, like I said a moment ago, their job is to look for unpaid tax dollars and they don't have to stop at just one year. So if you say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing, you could actually trigger audits for previous years. And what started as a $5,000 debt could end up as being a $50,000 debt or $150,000 simply because you said the wrong thing or you triggered another audit. Oh, my goodness. So this is why we need to contact you. And you guys just received an amazing recognition. Tell me more about that. Yeah, we were just recognized by Inc. Magazine as being one of the fastest growing uh, privately held countries, companies in the country. So we're so appreciative and, and uh, humbled by that. Well, we definitely want to reach out to someone we trust. And you guys are those people. So we're And we're local, right here yes. in Houston. Gotta love local. So where That's can people right. go for more? Well, you can reach us at our local number, which is 832-930-4067. Or you can go to our website, which is kickirs.com. Uh, and the phone number there is 866-KICK-IRS or 866-542-5477. Well, thank you for this week's Tax Tip Tuesday. Thank you for having me.